um, that happens, we should be able to take care of at least the beginning part to get the uh, whoever is injured stable. Beyond that, we've got doctors on the ground that we can call up and talk to and they can help us. And if somebody is really, really sick or hurt, we would get in our spacecraft and just go home. Over. Ishan, I think my role models were actually my parents. They always encouraged me to do what I wanted and to do well at what I wanted to do. They had very high expectations and that caused me to have high expectations for myself. And they never told me that girls couldn't be an astronaut, which at the time that I was saying I wanted to be an astronaut, there were no girls that were astronauts. And so I credit them a lot with my success. Over. Adeline, we actually have to learn different languages. Mostly everybody speaks English up here, but as an American astronaut, I had to learn the Russian language. And so occasionally I talk to the Russian cosmonauts in Russian, but usually I find that their English is better than my Russian. Over. You know, that is a difficult question. I think my favorite superhero has to be Wonder Woman. Um, I think she has to be, she's my favorite because she's just strong and such a good person and really cares about people in the Earth. Over. Noelle, oh, that's another tough question. What do I miss the most about Earth? You know, I think it's not an object. I think it is uh, really missing my friends and family. Over. that were hard about training for me. One was learning the Russian language because it's very difficult and different from English. And the other is learning uh, how to do spacewalks. That is very physically demanding. At times, I didn't think I was going to pass, but I eventually did. Over. of the 
the space station because we didn't need it anymore. It was amazing to watch. Over.